Unless you've been hiding under a rock for these past few months, you've probably heard of Bitcoin, billed by some as the future and by others as a massive bubble waiting to burst. Whatever your opinion is, it is hard to ignore the cryptocurrency that if you'd have invested a few quid in some years back, would now have made you a multi-millionaire. I'm of the opinion that crypto is the future. We will almost certainly see a correction of its purely upward trend and likely some regulation to boot. But in my view, crypto, and in particularly Bitcoin, is to money today what the internet was to communication in the late 90s. I see it as the future. And for some reason, I've decided to debate it with this lot. <laughs> Well, well, it's been lovely. Got, I'm, yeah. I'm going to get the car early. Have you all got your wet towels? Have you all got your wet towels? What have I let myself in for? Well, as I understand it, bit, there are lots of crypt cryptocurrencies, but the bit that's going to change the world, as the, in as the internet did, okay. is not cryptocurrencies, the but blockchain, blockchain the actual yeah. system, mm -hmm. which distributes the information and all the whatnots around the world in different computer programs. Yeah which makes them, you know, unhackable, yeah. untraceable, all the rest of it. Yeah. But the experts totally disagree with you about it. I mean, because they just say, you, it, you know, as a, it's a currency invented as a gambling form to make but, money. Therefore, it's not a proper currency. If yeah. I invest in Boots Bitcoin. the Chemist or Lloyd's the Chemist or Asda or Sainsbury's, I know, what, I know what I'm getting. There's something that backs it up. If I invest in one of great companies, there's something that backs it up. What actually backs this up? What, is it, what are the foundations it's built on? Yeah, so a few things then. Um, and by the way, I'm not sitting here as some guru of Bitcoin, just oh. to set Compared your expectations, you are, guys. So, hey, I'll believe anything you say. Yeah, in, yeah, in, the, but, you know, in the land of... Yes, we are. <laughs> so, to, to your point, so yeah, you've got the blockchain, which is basically a decentralized, um, I'm trying to think the most simplest way to say this, it's like basically a decentralized set of ledgers. Yeah, computer so, to computer. Yeah, exactly. So lots of people are validating information. It's very hard to hack. It's very hard to have a single point of failure. And Bitcoin is one form of application of blockchain. Mm -hmm. And quite rightly, as you described, there are many other cryptocurrencies, so, or crypto coins, or tokens, whatever people want to call them. Uh, Ethereum, yeah. Litecoin, blockchain, you know, whatever. The, the list goes on. There's new ones launching every day. But, now, to your point, so yeah. people often... Which comes from Sir John Cunliffe, the Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, as recently as last month. This is not a currency, this is not an accepted currency. There's no central bank that stands behind it. I mean, but he's the Deputy he Governor says, of the Bank of England. But when he says it's not an accepted currency, in many places, actually, it is. So people will say, like, what is this Bitcoin malarkey? And you can call it a few different things. You could call what, it, some people call it a commodity. I tell you, some people call it a commodity. Some people call it a store of value. Some people call it a medium of exchange. Some people call it a currency. Right. Right. And it's the value. So Michelle, we put values I, on can something. Can I ask you how it's the future then? So you think all of us are going to be using Bitcoin? Well, so probably, grannies will be using Bitcoin. Some of us Bitcoin. Might, might die before we get to the point where it's mass in, you know, implemented I, I, in terms of I, our age. I don't think you should have looked at me then. I didn't like it. We all knew the point. Yeah. 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 Make it that obvious. Yeah. I don't know. I, I noticed I kept my... My, mother, you know, my mother lived to 100. I'm going to be here for a long okay. time. Well, my, no. point is, my point is, this technology is still very much in its infancy. It's like if we can remember uh, computing when it was kind of black screens and green yes. numbers yeah. and all that stuff, we're kind of in some ways at that early start uh, this early part of this uh, okay, revolution. Okay, I've got a question. So if I decide I want to get in the, on the Bitcoin game, Madness. how do I do it? What right. do I do? So first things first, it's very important. I'm not a financial advisor, and, mm. I don't, and I'm not saying to anybody, no, put should. your life savings no, no, into no, no, Bitcoin. No. Okay. Anybody watching this that's thinking, oh, I might have a dabble, you must, must, must understand that you can lose. You All can lose. It. All of it. All of it. You can gain an awful amount but of money. But do you use real currency the, to yeah, buy Yeah, so basically, Bitcoin. in a nutshell, what you would do is you would go, right, today I want to buy some Bitcoin. So you would essentially set up um, an online wallet. Mm -hmm. and you can do this in many different ways, but I'm simplifying it. You'd mm -hmm. set up an online wallet. You'd put money into this wallet and convert it into, you'd buy the Bitcoins. You but can you do reverse, real currency to begin with. Yeah, you can okay. do reverse ATM. Michelle, so can ATMs I do some caveats? In. Can I do some quick caveats? Of course, yes. please. But the other currencies, cryptocurrencies, are available. It's completely yeah, that's what I said it's at the not beginning. government backed, and also um, one of our top policemen is also warning about people investing in it. And uh, let's just hear what he has to say. Yeah. Cryptocurrencies are not illegal, but they are unregulated, decentralized currencies that can be quickly transferred across borders 
Organised criminal mm. groups have been early adopters to evade traditional money laundering checks and statutory regulations. Thus, Sir Spake, Detective Superintendent Nick Stevens of the Met. And just to underscore what Michelle is saying, then there is a heck of a lot of cash. He's looking in. for his bitcoin quick... under the table. Yes, that was that was Greg's bitcoin yeah. crashing yeah, to the yeah, ground. Yeah, that's yeah. The size of a number bitcoin. of them, actually. Yes, that's yeah. right. His the current wallet. The current value of all bitcoins one hundred and eighty billion dollars, and we thank small. Businessprices.co.uk for that so fight. That's bigger than all our UK currency combined, isn't it? Which well, is 105 billion. It's vast, billion. as well, Michelle says. When I found out early in this week you were going to discuss this, I thought, oh, I bet, I bet, I'm starting from nil. Yeah. Right? So I thought I'd better find out something about it. So I read a lot of things about it. And in all my research, I came across uh, something by uh, a Sky correspondent, Tom Cheshire, uh, who explained what's actually happened to the value of Bitcoin. Mm. In terms of tracking the value of Bitcoin, ordering takeaway pizza isn't a bad reference. In 2010, someone paid 10,000 Bitcoins to get two pizzas just like this one. Pretty tasty. But what's more tasty at 5,000 Bitcoins per pizza, that amount of Bitcoin could now buy you this entire house. Yeah, I mean, something that goes up in value that fast, you can't help feeling is... Suspect. So I looked up some of what some of the big bankers have said. Now you'll say, well, that's what they would say. But the, uh, the guy from, Lo from Goldman Sachs says something that moves 20% overnight does not feel like a currency. It is a vehicle to perpetuate fraud. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you look back in history and you remember, well, the, 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 the tulip boom. The South where, Sea bubble. The South Sea bubble. Well, well, our property market yes. probably a bubble yeah. too. Languages are my strong point. The tulip boom, you've got me, Greg. What's tulip fever. They, they used to trade so tulip singer, bulbs. Isn't she? Tulip fever? No, <laughs> no, no, no <laughs> tulip, tulip, tulips tulip. became, people yeah. started trading and paying a fortune for tulip bulbs. Until, Seriously? Yes, yeah. Yeah. until the yeah. whole thing burst crashed. as they discovered there but wasn't let me, value. But let me come back to this. First of all, Turkeys don't vote for Christmas, right? So if you're, yes, they if do. You're... Think of Brexit. OK, so... Oh, oh, oh it's oh, all Brexit. Great. Right. Put oh, a banger. Even she can a get banger. Bitcoins <laughs> around to Brexit. But crypto would, would challenge the fact of why do you need this centralised banking system. system? Why? Because if we can do direct exchange, why would we need this middle person? So, of course, I respect... And we decide um, the value. Yeah, we decide yeah, the value. Based on the but amount the, but of the exchange, value is this, people to must people. Be must be decided on supply and demand. It's just yes, how many people want to buy. Precisely. And the price. You bought some today, didn't you? I did buy some more today, yeah. Um, how many just, more? But just to be clear as well, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy element, like portions of subunits of. So you bought a subunit of a Bitcoin today? Yeah, you can buy. Do you know when you was a kid and you used to go to a shop and like sherbet lemons were a pound a quarter or yeah. whatever? And you could if get you didn't two have a, yeah, If you didn't have a pound, you, you bought, could just yeah. you could buy 25 peas worth. Yeah. Right. So it's the right. same with a right. Bitcoin. Well, but we accept that, but tell me what you bought today then. Well, it, so it depends. Share lemons, by the sound. Yeah, share of lemons, <laughs> yes. a bag of share of lemons. You so might have done better, you know. No, no. So what you do, so a couple of things that you need to be aware of. This is a scarce resource. There's only ever going to want to be like 21 million bitcoins released or mined. Would so be the they're technical saying term. right now. No, 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 that's the case. That's oh. the code. That's how it is. Well, how that's do they stop you mining them? Then? How do you No, then you that? could mine them. If you wanted to become a, a bitcoin miner and that's what you wanted to dedicate your time and energy to, you could if you had the right Well, I did ask you earlier, how do, how do I mine a bitcoin? Uh, You'd Michelle, have to invest money in, let me tell him, because I think he wants to be a Bitcoin miner in his spare time. You'd have to buy an awful lot of hardware, the right software, pay an awful lot of money in electricity. It's quite time consuming. It's very complex. It's getting harder the more Bitcoins are released. But what I'm saying is we need to be open minded about the applications of, you've just described, blockchain, but also crypto, because I think that what we are seeing now, and by the way, we are due a massive, in my view, market correction, correction because yeah. what you're saying is it's shot up like this. Very soon we well, can... Why did you buy today if you believe that's going to happen? Because I just believe. So first of all, I believe I believe in the long-term value of Bitcoin. Yeah. It's going to be trading on the futures exchanges soon. So people will be making money on this thing dropping, not just increasing. To, uh, so it'll be interesting to see what that happens. Yeah. And I'm very excited. Well, what if the government regulates and say there's a huge crash? But, there, but regulation would be a good thing because it's, it means that it's been taken seriously. Well, all the money launderers well, would Mich sell. Well, but Michelle, it's not just, let me just thank you. For, it's well, not well, just no, no, because we're coming to the end of the show. Yeah. But thank okay, you for that topic. I am none the wiser on Bitcoin, but, but thank you. I'm glad you are. Oh, good, glad I did such a good job there. I tried. <laughs>